Hi, I'm Nick Carraz of Creative 111, and I'm here to talk to you today about some of the new features inside of Final Cut, specifically custom column views. Let's talk about how we can create a custom col column view, and we're going to rely on some information of something that you might have come across in Final Cut, which is custom metadata views. Let's bring up the inspector, and I'll select one of these clips in my diver event to see that I'm currently looking at a custom metadata view I set up that only shows this camera lookup table and a few others. You have all of these preset metadata views that ship with Final Cut, where you can see various information about a clip. And you also have the ability to edit any of these views, and then of course, save your own. This functionality has been brought over into list view inside of the browser. So let me hop outside of the inspector, and in the browser, rather than look at the thumbnail of these clips, I'm going to switch over to list view. Here are our columns. We can, of course, arrange our columns, everything except for the name field. And we can even add new columns by right-clicking and choosing another one. That functionality has been there for a while. What's new is your ability to edit available columns. And why this is awesome is sometimes we might just want to look at a little bit of information related to our clip and utilize that. Also, to have that custom column set and be able to bring that onto another system where we're running Final Cut. So how we create our own custom column set is to go down to this gear icon and choose new column set. I want to call this mix columns, and we have this large list of properties that we can choose from. One way to minimize this list is to go to specific categories like video properties. I'll scroll down to the bottom where I'll add a few. I'm going to add video color space and video frame rate. That will come handy for the information I want to look at. I'll then go back to all properties. And rather than look at this extensive list, I can search for columns I know are in Final Cut. So I'd like to have a notes column. Here is that notes property. Once I've done the search, I'll clear this field. I also want to know the duration of this clip. I've got a few options. I'll just choose media duration right now. I'll just type in the word video because I'd also like to grab the video roles column. If I clear this search, anything that's currently checked in this long list, like media duration, is of course going to show up in the column. Now that this is set up, I'll press OK, and that's the column set that I see here in the browser. If I'm not happy with the order of these columns, of course, I can grab my video frame rate, put that next to media duration, and add my notes column, maybe just next to name. Now that that's all set up, I can organize these columns in ascending and descending order by single clicking on it and paying attention to the arrow that's just to the right. On top of this, if you right click a column header, you can reveal your selected column set, reveal your column set in the finder. Here's where you can copy this and send this through email and then have access to it on another Final Cut Pro system. And that's it for this video on custom columns. I'm Nick Haraz. Subscribe to Creative 111 for more tips and tricks just like this. And I hope to see you around this channel sometime soon.